Hey guys, so I actually did the full range test this time, so 100% battery all the way until the scooter stopped going. And we actually both did the test last week, but the GPS data was messed up, possibly because my phone was on battery saver mode, so it wasn't actually tracking. Uh, so this time around, I made sure it was tracking, and later on, I actually put my phone and rubber banded it to the scooter to see that. A few things to keep in mind. Uh, so essentially... Both of the scooters were on sport mode and throttle was on max at least 70% of the time or so. I'm basically close to 200 pounds with the gear. He's closer to 230 pounds so we're definitely on the heavier side. So definitely keep that in mind when I discuss the range of what we actually got. Obviously if you're lighter it's, it's going to take you farther. When you're riding this scooter and you're getting close to that curb, sometimes the curb kind of takes you in because it's curved. So be careful with that. Don't ride that close to the curb. As you can see here, he actually jumped off and held the scooter. See, it was actually a very nice save. Uh, but just keep in mind, like, probably not the best idea to ride that close to the curb. Well, he turned out fine. So another request that I was getting was, how fast is can the scooter go? Can you capture it on film? And here it is on film. The max I could see on film that I got to was 18 miles an hour. Uh, but last week I actually saw 19 miles an hour at one point so uh, something to keep in mind so while I was riding I actually saw this Tesla club and I was like dude this is awesome I have a Tesla let me check it out let me just ride my scooter along just to see what was up and there was actually a pretty cool Model X almost kind of looked like a Batmobile for some odd reason it was pretty cool because they had some original Roadsters which you don't see that often and they had a whole bunch of other Teslas and I was like dude this is awesome man I wanted to talk to these guys but I'm here with my scooter now speaking of Teslas I I'm like hey you know what let's supercharge this thing while we're at it top off the battery you know no, just kidding guys, you guys can't do this. This is this was just a joke. Proprietary Tesla signal is not going to charge your scooter, I just thought it was funny. I basically rubber banded my phone to the scooter, make sure those track points were actually tracking so I can actually get a good readout. This was the hardest hill that I uh, attempted and I actually completed. Um, and I'm going to fast forward this situation because it's such a long uphill. And so basically, the only way you could really go up these hills if you do this side-by-side -side motion, if you try to go straight, at least if you're closer to 200 pounds, it's not going to take you up this hill unless you do this side-by-side -side motion. And here's the end of the trip where I'm basically riding all the way to the end and the scooter pretty much dies right here. And luckily when the battery was low, I started riding close to my car, so it was actually pretty close to my car right there and so here I am saving the data and now I'm gonna pull it up and show you guys on the map what I actually got I actually got 28 miles of range so keep in mind I also climbed over 2,000 feet it was a pretty hilly area I attacked some crazy hills that you saw earlier I gotta say like I was very 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 impressed with the scooter that it could take someone close to 200 pounds and you know do an elevation climb of 2000 feet on sport mode and pretty much on full throttle at least 70% of the trip if not more if you're in eco mode and you're in flat terrain especially if you're lighter I think you could do 40 miles with the scooter I honestly believe it's possible if you guys like this video I'd really appreciate it if you guys liked and subscribe I have more content coming if you guys have other ideas please let me know in the comment section below thank you guys for watching